Hey guys, so we are going to be doing another missing persons cases because it's Monday. Hopefully I can get it uploaded by today. I should be able to, but... Okay, so the missing person case we're going to talk about is the one that went airborne. It was everywhere. It was... It was ev It was better, like... So many people were talking about this case, like, everyone knew either of the missing girl, little girl, or of the mother, um, so we're gonna get into that. So, we're talking about the Kaylee Anthony case, and this, I've did so many cases, like, so many researches on different cases, and this one, like, Reminds me of the Haley Cummins case or the Madeline McCain case. They're, they're kind of like the same, but okay, we're going to get into this. So, Kaylee was born on August 9th, 2005, and she was only two when she got whatever happened it's still an ongoing thing but okay so Casey had her when she was 19 and Casey's her mom and all Casey wanted to do was party and she lied to everyone and her parents questioned her like are you pregnant and she lied and said no she's not but then finally told them like two months before she was going to have the baby that she was indeed pregnant and she lied. And no one knows who the dad is. Um, I was watching this video and this lady was talking about how her son used to date Kaylee. And she thought that, um, that her son that died in 2000 and seven was the dad of Kaylee. Anyway, so Sydney is Casey's mom, and she made Casey keep the baby, and that she said that, oh, I'll help you raise the baby and everything. So then she kept the baby. But she really wanted to give it up for adoption, but her mom talked her into keeping it. So, Jesse was was not the dad, but he wanted to be in Kaylee's life because um, Casey was engaged to Jesse for a while. And then a couple months later, after they broke up, she was pregnant. So, he thought... Maybe it was his kid, but they did a DNA test, and no, he was not the dad. Um, June 12th, George Anthony is, Kay is Casey's dad, and he said that Kaylee was with friends of the Anthony family in a shopping area near Orange some Malone County lines. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but anyway, like this case just doesn't add up. And there's, I can't put everything in here. Like you could do your own research if you're still curious, or maybe you've already like heard of this case. I don't know, but. So the la on June 15, 2008, the last day Grandma was seen with her and seen her alive, Casey is known as a liar and Casey finally confessed and said the baby has been missing for 31 days. 31 days! And she never called the cops or told anyone until 31, after 31 days. I don't know why, 
because she probably did it. I don't know, but <laughs> she never called the police. She said that this that Zanny the nanny was watching her daughter, and she came back to get her, and they weren't there. And there was a note. Apparently, there was a note that said like, "Hey, don't call the police, or I'll hurt your kid, or something." I don't know if that's true because she's known as a liar. Um. The police went to Kate, went with Casey to Universal Studios where she said that she worked, but she lied. She told them after like 10 minutes of walking around the studio, she's like, I haven't worked here in a while. So she lied about where she worked and she doesn't actually have a job. She told her parents like, I'm going to go to work and she'd like do whatever with the kid. Um... July 17th, they took Casey's car and found possible evidence of a human dis decomposing, and they started searching the Anthony's backyard that same day. Um, August, or, the, and the same day, Casey was charged with child neglect and lying to investigators and, and, Interfering with a criminal investigation, and then the on August seventh, so that was a while. They took Casey's clothes after Cindy washed them because she said that they had a foul order and they just needed to be washed. They so, on October 21st, they, on August, sorry, August, on August 31st, they found hair in Casey's trunk that belonged to Kaylee. August 21st, air samples were tested, and there was a body decomposing and they found that the test showed up that there was a body that was decomposing and that they smell they smelled chloroform and if you don't know what chloroform is it's basically like it knocks people out it makes you unconscious and i watched this video with this girl that went to um that was in jail with her and she was saying how Casey told her all about how she'd not want, she didn't want the baby to be with the mom, the, her mom all the time. So when she went out, when Casey went out to party, she just put it on a rag and she'd like just knock her out. And she's done that multiple times. And on December 11th, they found a little girl's remains about one quarter mile from their the Casey's resident, or from the Anthony's residence, and on December 19th, they confirmed it was hers, and Casey was taken to jail again, had a bond put in, and got out, and then got charged with first degree murder and child neglect. But she got out of the murder. Like, they didn't charge her with murder. They they dropped that charge for some odd reason. But she had to stay in jail for child neglect for a couple years. And that's basically all they gave her was a slap on the wrist. And so many people started, like, rioting and stuff because they just let a murderer out, out of jail... Like, she didn't even go to prison. She was just in jail. They, they let her out and said, well, she's not, she's not guilty. Like, the other she, research I did was basically just saying how now she, like, can't get a job or anything. So she's just laying low and, like, living with random people. And, like, all these people are, like, protesting and everything because you just let her out. Like, 
you know she did it. Like, there was evidence. There was, there was evidence. There was so much evidence. And there was duct tape on her mouth. And that girl that, she, that was her friend told about what she told her and, like, how she would knock her out. She used chemicals to knock her kid out. Like, that would eventually kill your kid. But I think it was wrong for them not to charge her with something else besides child neglect. But, you know, it's just, it's just, it's just really sad. You know, all these, like, but then they were trying to make, like, saying, like, oh, she drowned in the pool because no one was watching her. And all this other stuff that just didn't add up. And then Casey was talking about how her dad would, like, um, he would, like, rape her. Or like sexually assault, sexually, sexually assault her and like she just goes to school and act like nothing happened. That's how she's good at lying. But like, even if that happened, why would you want your kid around him? And why wouldn't you have like, yeah, I get it's your dad. But like, it, that's not right. And... Whoever made those claims, if you if you were right, like, imagine what he could have done to Kaylee, you know, if he really did do that stuff to Casey. But anyway, that that's it for this one. This one is just a good one, I guess you could say. I don't know. It's just really sad how all this stuff happens to these innocent kids or, like, maybe adults. I don't know. But see you guys next time. Like and subscribe if you haven't and shared. It would really, I feel appreciated when I see that I got a new subscriber or some likes. So give this a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.